you were wearing a skirt and it seems like a full top if I remember although I could be wrong because apparently from your point of view I never stopped talking from hello well I all I can say is it runs in the family with my mom and my dad my brother my aunt Pam to my grandmother Nelda who unfortunately you never got to meet but I know you will someday I know this because my nanny always put others in in front of herself even to a fault, and often you do the same. And that is one of the things I love so much about you. Even when I know it takes a, its toll on you. I know how many things in life have gone against you and likely will continue to in the future. It's just kind of the part of life, unfortunately. That said, I can't wait to start my life with you. No, don't start that. I can't wait to be your shoulder to cry on when times are tough, just like I'm sure your dad did for you. I can't wait to be your companion day after day, as Nick was for you when you guys made the most of every moment. I can't wait to be your lover, your friend, your boo, your butt to cuddle in bed, and most <laughs> important, your hand to hold in marriage every day of life from now to forever. Love you more than you know, my bride to be, your hunky husband. That's all. <laughs> Dear Russell, today we get married beneath the trellis that the two of us poured our sweat into building a few years ago. Each bolt, screw, and nail symbolizing the circumstances that have built the foundation of the life we'll build together from this day forward. You look so handsome! <laughs> Over the last six years, we have both grown up and grown with each other. You've taught me how to be more patient and to give grace when it isn't always deserving, especially to myself. You've supported me in all of my endeavors, endeavors, and you always give me the extra push I need to move past things unnerving. You've, been, you've become a staple in my life and have held me together when the world seemed to crumble beneath me. You're my sounding board when I need advice, and you're the best part of my days. I promise to love you wholeheartedly and to always put our marriage above all things. I promise to always try to keep the element of surprise alive, to make you laugh, and to protect you fiercely. And lastly, I promise to always strive to be the best version of myself I can possibly be so I can love you in all the ways that you deserve. I can't wait to see what adventures and shenanigans we find ourselves in. Love always, Selena.
take Selena to be your wife. It's okay, Nash, they're, they're still all right. <laughs> From this day forward, to love, to cherish, to honor, in sickness and in health, in prosperity or poverty, until death separates you. I do. Selena, do you take Russell to be your husband? From this day forward, to love, to cherish, to support in sickness and in health, in prosperity or in poverty, until death separates you? I do. Do we have <laughs> rings? Russell, repeat after me. I, Russell. I, Russell. Give you, Selena. Give you, Selena. This ring. This ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I have is ours. And all that I have is ours. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. And honor you. And honor you. For as long as we live. For as long as we live. This is my purpose, promise. This is my promise. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let's ring on. <laughs> All right, you ready, Selena? I'm taking order. <laughs> I, Selena. I, Selena. Give you Russell. This ring, as a symbol of my love, all that I am, and all that I have is ours. I promise to love you, and honor you, for as long as we live. This is my promise, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. By the authority vested in me, by the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> it's my true honor for the first time to present as man and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Winfrey. Good evening, everyone. My name is Mai. Hello. And I'm the maid of honor to our beautiful bride, Selena. Ow, oh, ow! Oh! Believe it or not, our families would confuse the two of us between our height, our glasses, down to our cackling laughs. Those of you who know Selena know she is unapologetically hilarious. Through the years, I know I could always count on her to be brutally honest and still end the day with the warmest smile and laughter in her voice. For someone so petite, she is one of the strongest women I've ever known. At a young age, I've witnessed you endure immense loss of the closest men dearest to your heart. 
yet from heaven they have guided you through life and brought you and Russell together as they are here with you today and always know they are proud of you and the woman you've become as we all here are as well Russell a man of God who's patient understanding consistent and most of all just as goofy as Selena <laughs> Thank you for filling Selena's heart with love, happiness, comfort, and the occasional headache. You gotta keep this one on her toes. Thank you, Nan Russell, for granting me to be a part of your special day. Cheers. Love you guys. So, my name is Terry, and little backstory, me and Russell have known each other literally since I can hardly remember. Like first memories, like sleepovers. Uh, we, I, I imagine diapers. Yeah, diapers. We would play Tonka trucks. I remember going to this house. He had all these glow in the dark stars. I was like, this is the coolest house ever. And as we know from our previous experience out there, Russell is an avid soccer player. So we had some friends on the soccer team, and. Russell, we were waiting on the players to come out, we'll tell them good job. And Russell found, finds a soccer ball. And he's like, oh, watch this. This is upper 90, going in the goal. He kicks that thing, air mails it. Straight over the goal, over the fence. And the player's about to come out. So he comes out, or he's about to go around. We're like, no, Russell, hurry up, get, get the ball, hop the fence. So he goes over there, climbs the fence. We just happen to turn around, and Russell just fell right on his face. I mean, this, this fence like is six feet tall. Straight on his face. He gets up and just the wind is just knocked out of him. Well, Selena, he fell harder for you. <laughs> so, to Russell and Selena, thank you very much for having me a part of this. We love you very both. Ha, 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 ha.